everybody, this is Matt Cribs here, playing some Hermitcraft Mod Sauce on the Cribscraft server, and today I'm uh, getting a little bit tired of dying. Hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, don't I didn't say that, but I hope everyone is. Um, I'm getting tired of dying. If, if you've noticed, I've been playing everything so far um, with no armor except what I can pick up. Um, and pretty much uh, no extra hearts. Um, so today I think it's time to fix that. Um, so first thing I want to do is work on this, getting these heart canisters. Now we can get one yellow heart canister um, because uh, BD Cribs was, was kind enough to, uh, to leave one. Um, but in order to use it, we first have to get 10 of these red heart canisters. So to do that, we'll need, uh, you know, 10 miniature red hearts, 10 necrotic bones, um, 10 jeweled apples, and 10 empty canisters. So jeweled apples need four diamonds each, so we'll need 40 diamonds, and then we will need uh, 10 apples. So let's get them. 9, 10. So that's 10 apples. Um, we're going to need uh, four... These will need, um, let's see, we can do it with aluminum. Uh, yeah, we have aluminum. So we're going to need, how many aluminums? Uh, we're going to need 40 aluminums. Now where's aluminum? Gold, iron, silver, lead, tin, copper, aluminum. So we'll need 40 of these. 32... Actually, we'll need 20 of those because our current uh, our current uh, ore processing setup just doubles it. Um, and yes, we need to get that on a we need to improve that. Uh, so let's stick that in there. Um, get that cooking up. What else do we need? Uh, we're gonna need 10 necrotic bones and 10 miniature red hearts. Um, okay, well we can get that pretty easy because we have farms uh, out here. Uh, let's go and to the farm. Uh, yep, there's the yellow heart canister we had. So we're going to need 10 of these miniature red hearts, which we're getting from our blaze farm. And there's 10 of them. Sweet. So, and then we are going to need 10 necrotic bones. And those should be down here in... Oh, look! And there's perfect 10 of them. Sweet. So that works there. Um, and oh, if you notice, we made a, I made a list, little path um, coming out here. Uh, BD finished the uh, the Wither Killer, so it's got 24 Nether Stars in it right now. Now we're having a problem that for some reason, this guy, if you're not standing right here it doesn't seem to collect anything. And that, as far as I know, should not happen. We should be able to turn this on, go away, and get nether skulls. But for some reason, it doesn't seem to be doing that. So I might look into that later. Um, but for right now, we have, uh, let's, let's get ourselves well protected. Um, Cause this is just too dangerous the way we're going right now. Um, so first, let's make our 10 jeweled apples. Um, got those, and then we will need uh, those, so we need to get our aluminum, um, and it should be, I wonder if it's done yet, should be done, I hope, oops, uh, so the dust is, oh, it wasn't going because the iron dust filled up, let's get rid of the iron dust, no more iron dust, no, 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 no. All right, now the aluminum dust is going in. And that's a little bit annoying um, when you're trying to take stuff out of it and it auto, uh, I could have turned that off. It auto redistributes everything. Um, I could have turned it off, but I didn't because I'm not that smart, uh, but that goes. And the other thing we're going to make is we are going to make obsidian armor. Obsidian ingot, and if we look here for uses, hit you. Um, let's hit hit you when we're not typing. Um, we can come here and we can do shaped crafting, 
and make this obsidian armor. And this is really strong armor. Um, until we do blood magic or, or something like that that'll get us uber powerful armor, this is still pretty powerful armor. So we're going to need 24 of these obsidian ingots, which means we'll need 24 of these refined obsidian dusts, um, which means we'll need 24 osmium ingots. And in order to make this dust, we're going to need um, 24 dirty obsidian dust and 24 diamond dust. Now, diamond dust, we can crush diamonds, so we need 24 diamonds. Um, and then for the obsidian, we're going to need to, uh, I believe, crush it as well. Yes, we can crush it as well. Crush obsidian and we get two. So we're going to need 12 obsidian, 24, well, 12 osmium because we're going to enrich it. Um, so let's do this. Where's osmium? All right, so we're going to need 12 of that. 12 of that and stick that back and we'll need 12 obsidian cool stick that back and 24 diamonds and coincidentally after i used 40 of them to make the apples i happen to have 12 left so let's go here to the crusher and let's start it crushing the obsidian uh, and that should work i believe you crush it uh, why is that not working? Find obsidian. Dirty obsidian dust. Crusher. Uh, oh wait. Is that not what you do? Enrichment chamber. Oh, enrichment chamber. Um, but we can crush the diamonds. Um, do I have an enrichment chamber? Uh... I don't think I have an enrichment chamber. I thought I did, didn't I? No idea. Um, but we have our 40 aluminum right now. Um, so let's get it pulverizing the osmium. So that's there. I thought I had, or maybe there's an enrichment chamber in the spawn. What does it take? Enrich in rich. What does it take to make an enrichment chamber? Maybe we should just make one of those. Um, steel casing, redstone, iron, uh, basic control circuits. I think we have those. Osmium and steel. Uh, so let's see. Let's just make one of those. Um, well, first, let's finish our hearts. So we should be able to go like this and there we have empty canisters now we should i believe if we have it right just be able to put this here and bam we have 10 red heart canisters and now these should be able to put it here and there we go and we should have is that how it works 10 oh yep and look we're getting our hearts are regaining so now we are getting up to our 10 levels of orange hearts from the heart canisters. And now we should be able to take this and put it in here. So now we can use the yellow heart canister that, uh, that we were given. So that's awesome. So now we have that. Um, and hopefully our hearts will go up and now we have a lot more health than we used to. So sweet, job one done. Um, job two, we need to make this enrichment chamber. So ba two basic control circuits, let's see if we have those. Um, I think we might. Do we? Do we? Huh, maybe we don't. All right, so let's start off making them. And it is just redstone and an osmium ingot. Um, okay, so let's grab some more redstone. Let's grab some more osmium because we're going to use our osmium for the uh, armor that we have now. So let's grab all these osmium ingots and stick them in there. We'll just, uh, no, I don't want to throw them in there. Ah, okay, off. 
So now it won't redistribute. Back on. Throw them in there. Let's just let's just do a whole stack of it. Um, so how are you doing? Diamond dust is grinding up. Um, so that's great. So we're gonna need an osmium ingot in the redstone, and I believe that one has coal. Let's just throw a stack of redstone in there, except we want one, two, three, four redstones, because we'll need four redstones from there. Um, let's get an osmium ingot we got from there, and we should be able to stick the osmium ingot in here, and it will get us... Oh, but we need two of those, right? Because we need two basic control circuits. Yep. So grab another one out. Perfect. And there's another basic control circuit. Um, so that's that. We have the redstone. We have the basic control circuit. We're going to need two iron ingots. And then we're going to need steel casing. So we're going to need another osmium ingot. And then steel ingots. And steel ingots come from... We want the... What is it? Mechanism steel ingots. Did any of those stop on mechanism? No. And if you just hold down shift... You, it'll lock it in at the type it is. So let's wait. It says mechanism. And that is right. Steel dust smelted up. Steel dust is if I take a... Yeah, that's right. Enriched iron in a coal thing. And enriched iron is iron in the coal thing. Um, so let's get a couple iron. Um, so that's sweet. We want to save those 24. Um... We need another one of these. Let's just take all those while they're doing it. Is the diamond doing? Okay, the diamond is done. So that's that. 24 and 24. Um, so we need some iron. Let's grab some iron. Over and and I really need to get some A set up so that we can do um, do. Uh, do better crafting. It's just, it's so much easier when you don't have to constantly run back and forth. Oh, and look, our health is up to all orange and one yellow. So that's awesome. Our hearts are good. Sweet. Um, and now what we're making. Okay, so we have the two control circuits. We have that. We need to make steel. So this one is our carbon. Um, let's throw in the iron ingots in there. And let's make a whole stack, which means we're going to need more coal. Grab two stacks of coal, throw it in here so that it has, yeah, has enough coal. Let's see if it fills up. And we have extra space left. Um, and then the diamond we want to throw into here because that's how we're going to infuse. Um, so we got 200, 240 diamond juice in there. Um, so redstone juice is in there. Um, how are you doing? You seem to be doing well. Oh, you're out of power. Why? Oh my gosh, we're just using too much power. Um, and then the osmium's still going. All right. Well, oh, maybe I bet. I bet I know. I bet you're out of power because. I bet you're out of power because of where you're at. Because you're not on the cable. I can't put you there because of that light. Now, let's see. There we go. Now we have power again. Yeah, you can only get power out of the back of these guys. Um, so he wasn't getting any power. Okay. So I think, how much steel do we need? We're only going to need four steel. So once this one finishes, let's cheat and go make this guy. So those guys can do that. We have our 24 osmium. Um, and so let's go back to obsidian, obs, obsidian ingots. So the obsidian ingots we were making, right, we want to make the uh, refined dust, which means we want to make, right, so we can't do, we can't do anything more on this. We can't make the dirty obsidian dust until we get the enrichment chamber. Um, Okay, so we'll just wait for this steel dust to cook up. There we go, four steel dust. Let's stick it in here. Let's take these guys out. Um, steel dust in there. 
All right, actually, can I stick you in there? Yep, and then so the steel will cook there. Sweet, and we wait for the steel to cook. What else can we do? Um, we can throw the iron back in there, might as well. Stick more carbon, and we won't make the whole thing. So these guys go back in our metal chest. It's all set. This guy is all ready to get our obsidian dust once we crush it. So we have our enriched iron. These guys are going up. Let's turn off the auto. Actually, yeah, that'll be done by the time we can. So we can we can keep. No, we'll turn off auto sort. Um, there we go. So we have our four steel ingots. Um, so next, steel ingots and an iron ingot, right? That made our steel casing. One, two, three, four, and an iron. Uh, no, it wasn't iron. It was an osmium. Osmium, there we have our steel casing, steel casing. One, two, one, two, three, four. What was it, iron on the sides? Yup, iron on the sides. So now we have our enrichment chamber. And I really hope we don't, yeah, okay, we didn't have one. So let's stick you there. Enrichment chamber goes there. Should be able to stick. All right, the obsidian in there, 12, and we'll get 24 of them. And we only need 24 of these. Osmiums. All right, so we got all messed up there. Um, and that goes in the osmium compressor, which is this guy. So let's throw those guys in there while we're waiting. Um, so we can take this obsidian, toss it in here with the diamond, let it go, wait for more, toss it in here. This should be getting us the dirty diamond. Yep, the refined obsidian ore. Refined obsidian dust goes in here, stick that in here, and it should cook up. And this should get us an obsidian ingot. There we go, one. Okay, I'll be back when we have all 24 of these. See you in a bit. And we have 24 obsidian ingots. So let's go make ourselves some armor. This should be good. All right, we'll start off with breastplate. Pants. Hat. And boots. All right. Now we got a full set of obsidian armor. Unfortunately, that means we are going to have to lose our nice little glasses there, but that's okay. So we should be a lot safer now. Awesome. It's exactly what we wanted to do. Let's see. You know what? These lapis boots, throw them away. I don't need them. Um, you know what? I probably should have checked what enchantment was on there. So, I wonder, can I go fight something? Let's see. Let's see what kind of damage I can sustain. Now, is this off? Up, off, down, on, up. Oh, so the auto spawner, he turned off the auto spawner and those are still on. Let's turn off the fans and let's go see what kind of damage a wither skeleton will do to us now. It should be going. Huh. It's bugged out. The uh, the displays don't actually show anything. All right, so there's one. All right, so he withers us. But are we actually taking any damage? Oh, barely. We took one heart in that. Sweet. So we should be able to come up to you and... I'm not afraid of you anymore. Oh yeah. Oops. Okay, so we take wither damage, um, of course, but, you know, we got enough hearts that it doesn't matter. Yeah, and if we stand in front of the autonomous activator, it's gonna, it's gonna beat us up. Sweet! 
All right, we are, we are better. We are now, oops, come on, up there. We are now armored and we are now hearted up. Sweet, and look, we're back to full already. So that's great. Now we don't have to run around like a little scared, tiny person anymore. Um, now if only we could figure out why we're not collecting wither skulls. But you know what? I'm not going to do that right now because that just, that's just, you know, that's going to be debugging time on camera. We can, however, take this, you know what? Let's turn off the auto spawner. We can come over here and put the look in here. And if we put it in here, no, we stick it in here and listen. Bam. should get another nether star. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but I mean, come on. Free nether stars. That is awesome. Just distribute this. You know what? We should just pick up all of this and stick it there. There we go. Distribute it evenly. Sweet. So we got, we're up to 25 nether stars. All we have to do is figure out how to fix that. Um, and we should be good. Oh, what do I look like? Let's take a look. Oh, nice. It's kind of stony. It's, it's not bad, though. I kind of like it. Awesome. Okay, let's put these inner pearls away. Um, not sure... You too. Not sure how much time is left in this episode. Um, not sure really what I want to do um, next. Um, so why don't I take a look at our time and think about what we have uh, that we can get done in that time. Oh, another thing I did while I was uh, off camera just waiting for this thing up. I replaced this generator with a faster one. Ah, I know what we can do. Um, so if you looked, if you noticed earlier on, um, we had our ender pouch or we had our, if I opened up my ender pouch to put my glasses in it and all the stuff for my quarry is in here and here I'll quickly just right here show you what the problem is. Um, if you remember, I was using the ender generator through this universal cable to power the ender quarry. It's quarry. So let's set that up. Quarry generator. Yeah. So this cable doesn't connect to either the quarry or the generator. So what we need to do, and I had actually said, I think in the last episode, maybe we need to uh, look at using the cube like we have here to solve the problem. Um, but that's not gonna work because it's not, it doesn't connect to the, to the quarry either. So what we're gonna need to do, I think, is make some of this uh, conduit. And I've, I think this will work. So insulated redstone conduit. So this is what we need. Um, we need to get redstone alloy, um, which we can make in an alloy smelter with silicon and redstone. Um, and then we'll need to get a uh, conduit binder. And conduit binder is bind, smelt up binder composite. Binder composite is just sand, gravel, and clay. Um, okay, so let's see. Let me gather up the materials and see what we can do. All right, so we should have what we need here. Um, first, let's make the composite. Um, and I'll just make, yeah, eight of those should be more than enough. I have some more, uh, more gravel being grinded up. Uh, we can finish that up later, um, but you know, right now we don't need it. So let's uh, distribute those among there. Um, we'll take the rest of the iron and stick the binder composite in there and let it cook up. Um, so the next thing we need to do is we need to actually make the alloy smelter. Um, and that is basically three furnaces, four iron, a cauldron, and this machine chassis. The machine chassis is iron bars and this capacitor. The capacitor is basically redstone, copper, and gold nuggets. So I should have everything we need to make that. Let's go to the capacitor first. Um, 
Alright, that didn't seem to work. Let's do gold nuggets, redstone, and copper. And that should be the basic capacitor. The capacitor, and then iron bars, and then four iron, and we should have the machine chassis. The machine chassis, and then four iron, the cauldron, and three furnaces, and we have an alloy smelter. Now, can this connect to mechanism wire? No, we are not getting any power. Can we connect right there? All right, we'll just stick it on top of our, excuse me. All right, just had to, uh, to mute myself there. Um, so we'll just stick it on top of our generator for now. So that is making power. Um, now we should be able to, how did we make this conduit again? Conduit. Um, it is just this conductive iron is just redstone and an iron ingots. Um, so we need to get some iron ingots. Let's grab some more of those. And oh, hello, I think you can hear in the background. Uh, my dog has said hello. Um, so we should be able to create this. Very good. Let's just put, uh, let's just do five for now. And let that cook up. And we actually only need three. We need three, so let's do six. And if we let those cook up, we should be able to have what we need. How's our binder doing? Our binder is right here. Oh wow, so we have 56. That's, uh, that's gonna be more than enough. Um, yeah, because they make four each, but that's okay. Oh, perfect. We made a stack accidentally Awesome, I love it when a plan comes together um, So there's our conduit binder. We'll let this copper finish up uh, Grab the rest of it put it in there. Yep. We have one conductive iron. So let's let the rest of those cook um, And we'll be able to make our conduit So right now we'll just stay organized clean um binder goes there actually you know what i'm not going to make the rest of this binder i'm just going to stick that in there for now um so redstone we don't need anymore go back over in here how you doing you're not doing anything because you're the compressor you're finished making your gravel perfect are you busy you're not busy sawmill enrichment chamber you're still making your copper all right we're just waiting oh there we go two more sweet so stick that there stick these here and we have conduit awesome that is exactly what we wanted now we should be able to take this and put it into our mining age um, how much time do I have? Yep, actually, let's just, uh, let's just test and see if this works. And if it works, then I'll go set up the quarry on my own. So we need the, actually, we'll just steal from the ender generator. We need the ender core. Actually, you know what? I don't want to hook that up here. Um, so let me cut and oh you know what gravel can go back in there i don't know why i was making gravel that was was not one of my smarter moments um all right so why don't we come back when we're in the mining age and see if this works i'll be right back all right, we're back and we're in our mining age. Um, we have our ender quarry set up here. Um, if you notice, our big holes are gone and that's because, as I mentioned, the, uh, the age got reset. Um, but we have everything hooked up exactly the way it was. And these guys are producing energy. Um, this guy, of course, is not receiving any energy, so it's not mining, but let's put down this conduit. Bam, and there we go, working. Perfect, 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 perfect. And just cause I am, 
since this is ugly, I'm going to there so it doesn't connect. Perfect. And if we want to, it doesn't really matter, but I can set this to insert in there and then set these guys to extract. Um, they're pretty smart about figuring out how it works, but there we go. We are mining again. We are in business. Going back into the, uh, the, uh, the world, exactly as it should. All right, so Ender IO has solved our problems. Um, okay, so that's it for me. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please favorite it, share it wherever you would like. Uh, let people know that you're what I'm doing. And uh, if you if you would like to see something else, um, shoot me any ideas over. You know, leave a comment. Um, share, like, and I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you later. Bye.